Today I'm going to compare two different surfacing bits that at a first glance are in two completely different categories, but the results may surprise you. I want to see if a $15 bit could hang with a larger, more expensive surfacing bit. The only surfacing bit I've used on my CNC was a white side 6220. It is a great bit with a half inch shank and a two inch diameter. It can really hog its way through wood. Then I learned about a smaller, much cheaper bit that was being talked about on YouTube and other blogs and forums and I had to take a look for myself. This bit only has a quarter inch shank and is a one inch diameter. So how and why would I use a smaller bit when I already had the white side? Well, to start, you can buy four of the smaller bits for less than the cost of one of the white side bits. And oftentimes for me, a two inch bit is just overkill. So let's see how this performs. I was working on a large wood blue line flag for a law enforcement retirement and thought it was the perfect opportunity to compare these two bits and see if the cut quality of the smaller, cheaper bit was even close to the larger bit. After glue up, I flattened one side with one bit, then flipped the project over and flattened it with the other bit. Obviously, I'm not comparing feeds and speeds because one bit is literally half the size of the other bit. My main focus was cut quality. Here's a real-time look at the 2-inch white side bit. I'll insert a tool card just for reference so you can see how I was running this bit. Your settings will vary. I don't like to push my bits to their limit, especially when surfacing. So regardless of the bit and machine capabilities, I'm not likely to take off more than 1 16th or 1 8th inch at a time. I'm almost always trying to get a flat surface while removing as little material as possible. So I like to set up a file that will sneak up on a flat surface with two or three rather shallow passes. So if you have a machine that can handle the half inch shank two inch wide bit, a larger bit is certainly something you want to have on hand. Maybe in a production environment where time is of the utmost importance, this would always be the way to go. But considering the smaller bit is a quarter to even one eighth the cost of some larger surfacing bits and can be mounted in a router table and serve as a slot cutting bit or even used in a handheld router or even a trim router, it certainly is a great and very versatile bit to keep available. Also consider if you are surfacing something that may potentially have metal or another foreign material in it that you didn't catch with the detector. It would be much more comforting knowing you are risking damage to a $15 bit than a $70 or even a $200 bit depending on which one you use. Now here is a real time look at the smaller 1 inch bit. You can see that even when going through knots, the one inch bit cut smoothly and there was no burning. Take a look at the surface quality of each bit. This was the main point of my comparison. You can see the larger two inch bit performed as expected, a great surface with little to no burning. Now look at the surface after cutting with the one inch bit. It is just as good, if not better. This literally felt like it had just come out of my planer. To say I was shocked is an understatement. So to be clear, in no way am I suggesting the white side bit is low quality or is not a great bit to have. It is the only other surfacing bit I had on hand for comparison. The purpose here is to show that a smaller, cheaper bit 
really does have a place in your workflow regardless of whether you have a hobby CNC or a larger industrial size CNC. I've linked these bits below and if nothing else, I encourage you to read the reviews on each. I'm not sponsored or getting paid by anyone for this. If you have previously discounted these smaller bits due to their low price, you may be in for a surprise and I think they do have a place in your shop. Thanks for watching this short video. I just wanted to share this discovery that you did not have to pay high end prices to get a surfacing bit that gives great cut quality. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.